So far this year, 32 Indian companies fired more than 8,000 people. Most of these are tech companies, including many startups you might know. And it's not just in India. All over the world, more than 1,30,000 tech workers lost their jobs this year. And let me give you some examples. Paytm, which is India's largest digital payment app, let go of 3,500 people. And that's the biggest number from one company. Another company is Baiju's and they fired about 500 people. And Unacademy also removed 250 people, while Swiggy cut 350 to 400 jobs. And there are also other companies like Ola, Misho, and ShareChat who also fired some people. Now, you might be wondering, why is this happening? Well, there are a couple of reasons. Number one, many tech companies, especially new ones, were trying to grow very fast. Now they want to kind of make more money, so they're spending less, and this often means cutting jobs. Number two, the world's money situation is a bit shaky right now, and this makes companies careful about their spending. Number three, new technologies like AI, artificial intelligence are changing how work is done. Some jobs are being replaced by these new technologies, and there are also many Indian tech companies who work with big foreign companies. When those big companies cut jobs, it also affects Indian companies too. And number four, during COVID-19, many tech companies grew very quickly. Now, as things are getting back to normal, they're adjusting their size. And if you're new here, I'm Pradeep Mocharla, based in Ireland. I'm working as a senior product manager with over 10 years of experience in the corporate world. I've worked with companies like Google, Amazon, Apple, IBM, MasterCard, and some innovative startups too. I make videos on careers and finance topics. And if these interest you, please subscribe to my channel. So what does this mean for people working in tech? It's a tough time for many of us, and some of us need to find new jobs and learn new skills as well. Jobs in AI, data science, and cloud computing are becoming more important, and some old jobs might go away, but new ones will come up too. So is there any good news? Yes, even with these job cuts, India's tech industry is still growing overall and as companies change how they work, they'll create new types of jobs. Companies around the world still want to hire Indian tech experts. And here's something exciting. There are new areas in tech that are growing fast in India, even when other parts are struggling. Now, let me tell you about some of these. Number one, fintech. This means financial technology. It's all about making money matters easier with technology. Companies that help with online payments, lending, or insurance are growing quickly. Number two is health tech. This uses technology to improve healthcare with more people caring about health after COVID-19. Companies making health apps or telemedicine services are hiring a lot. And number three is green technology. As India joins the global forces to fight climate change, companies working on clean energy, electric vehicles, or reducing waste are also becoming more important. And number four is edtech. Even though some big edtech companies had problems, there's still a big need for good online education in India. Smaller focused edtech companies are still growing. Now these new areas might be good places to look for jobs or to learn new skills. They're not just growing now, but they'll also likely be important for India's future too. Now what can you do if you're worried about your job? Here are some tips. Keep learning new skills, especially in AI and machine learning. AI and machine learning are changing how we work and you can start by taking free online courses on platforms like Coursera or EDX. You can start coding and work on small AI projects. This will help you stay relevant in the changing job market. Another thing to do is try to learn different things that work well together. Don't just focus on one skill, learn a mix of technical and soft skills. For example, combine programming with project management or data analysis with good communication skills. And this will make you more valuable to employers and opens up more job opportunities. And it's also important to stay up to date with what's happening in the tech world. The tech industry changes quite fast and you have to read tech news, websites, join LinkedIn groups, and also try to attend some webinars or virtual conferences because this will help you understand new trends and spot future opportunities in your field. You should also be open to trying different types of tech jobs and don't limit yourself to just one type of role. The tech industry has many different jobs. Be willing to explore roles in data analysis, cybersecurity, or even cloud computing. This flexibility can help you find new opportunities when some areas of tech are cutting jobs. And if you can, save some money for tough times because having some savings can give you peace of mind and more options. Try to save at least three to six months of living expenses and this financial cushion can help you manage if you lose your job or if you give time to learn new skill for a career change. Remember, Big changes like this are hard, but they also bring new opportunities. The tech industry in India is having a tough time now, but it's still very important for our country and has a bright future. Now, what do you think about all this? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please drop it in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.